Hi everyone, I'm Delaney Hogg, your local realtor, and today I'm going to be sharing a recipe on how to make honey blueberry lemonade, which is perfect for summer. You may have gotten this recipe card in your mailbox recently. This fits perfectly into your recipe card box if you have one. Save this and make it a new recipe to try this summer with your friends or family. First up, you're gonna need a couple lemons. I'm actually making this for a party this evening, so I have eight that I'm going to be using and an extra one for decoration, but two is fine. You can also buy the pre-made lemon juice. I just think the fresher lemons taste better. You're also going to need some blueberries and some honey. Now for the purpose of this recipe, I'm actually going to be using some blackberries as well because I wanted to mix it up, but you can use whatever berry substitute you'd want. And I'm going to be making it for a party, so mine is going to be going in this. You can also use a much smaller container if that works better for you. Now let's jump right in. Let's start by juicing some lemons. I'm actually going to save my lemon peels for a project later that's kind of unrelated to this, but save them if you can find a purpose for them. All right, I have successfully juiced eight lemons at this point, and it makes about a cup of fresh lemon juice. Then I'm gonna offset that with some cool water, but we're gonna do a couple other prep things first. So just set this aside for now. Up next, we're gonna deal with the berries. I want to leave some of these whole and also cut some of them so that the flavor is able to seep out more. So I'm gonna take this lovely large juice container and I'm gonna put some of these down in the bottom and kind of layer in um, a few different options. So first, we're just gonna pour some of these into here. But we don't wanna to put too many off the get, so I'm going to cut some of these, I'm also going to mash some of these and then we'll put it all in together. I'm gonna to put these into a plastic Ziploc bag and mash them up in there. This just seems like the easiest option. <laughs> gonna add some into the container, just like I did before. So I like to see some whole ones in there. And then I'm gonna add the rest into the Ziploc bag and mash them all up. Next, we're just gonna seal this up and get the air out of it. And now we're just gonna mash, which I feel like this is very violent. A pan, a cup, a bowl, something like that if you want. I'm just gonna use my hand because I'm not really too stuck on it. And next we're just gonna dump these guys right on into here. When we put in the lemonade and we put in everything, it'll kind of stir this up and help it stay off the bottom. All right, I'm also gonna do my honey now. That way when I pour the water in, it will help mix everything up and it will add some sugars directly onto the berries. So the ratio for this recipe is First, you're supposed to use a half cup of blueberries. I figured you can't have too much or too little. So I just went with my heart on that one. But for honey, it calls for two tablespoons. I obviously quadrupled this recipe, so I'm gonna do eight tablespoons. And that is also a lot of honey. So you could always use sugar or another substitute if you'd like. If you are using a container like this, just make sure you check that spout and make sure it is locked. You definitely don't want to add a bunch of water and not be able to stop it. And we'll just add in the lemon juice. Now here's the tricky part. You want to make sure that you measure everything at first, but you need to be able to make adjustments if your taste doesn't fit with what this already tastes like. So, and obviously I'm leaving room for ice as well. I did everything the way I was supposed to, but I think it could use a little bit of extra sweetness so you could add in more sugar or more honey, whichever one suits your fan. And I'm gonna eyeball this just for my sake. Up next, you're just gonna add enough sugar to taste. I already added some regular sugar and some honey just to have two different options. I also cut up this lemon and I'm just gonna put these large lemon slices in here. I just think that this looks pretty and is perfect for a summer cookout. I'm gonna let this cool down and just sit here and kind of marinate, but when I'm all done with this, I'm gonna put some ice in it and bring it to a party. That's all for this recipe, but one last cheesy line for you. If you need any help with your real estate needs, I'm here to help make the process easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm Delaney Hogg, your local realtor. Tune in next time for another fun recipe this summer. Bye.